you so much. Wait, one, one second. I'm trying to just, oh dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. It just went into a, okay, yes, sorry. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right, can you, everyone, okay, you can hear me? Great. Sorry. Um, Tyla, thank you so much for uh, speaking with me. I love the show. And it's so, so wonderful to see something that is so positively portrayed. You know, there's struggle, there's strife, but at the end of the day, this is a show that is about family. And with your character, Jasmine, you're playing the daughter, you fiercely believed in your father's innocence, which I love, you're right there working alongside him. And now he is, uh, going to now be a lawyer to help other people to get out. With your character as well, what do you see for this season, the complications, because it's, it's easy to say, oh, dad is back, everything's back to normal. Mm -hmm. What kind of complications, without spoiling, did you foresee <laughs> that happening with the character? I believe, well, as we know, Jasmine is a, a new mom, so that's mm -hmm. a complication within itself. You know, babies having babies and dealing with the troubles of just having their first child. So she's going through that phase of uh, not only becoming a mom, but becoming a young woman mm -hmm. and navigating it through motherhood. And also, um, in reference to Jasmine's father, Aaron, even in real life, you know, when, when, family members come back from prison, they have to assimilate back into real life, right? It, or back into what is the reality of the everyday world outside of the prison system, the jail system. And not only do those family members have to do that, the family has to respond to that. You know, I think Jasmine and Marie are also getting used to the fact that he's home. This is real. Like, and we even saw in the last episode, as soon as Jasmine's dad, Aaron, went oh, I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna go to the jail to visit the witness. She clings to her father. Cause it's like at any moment, I know now that I can lose you at any moment. And that is the reality for a lot of people. So those are some hints as to some things that can happen. You know, At any moment, someone can be taken away and she's just getting used to the fact of feeling comfortable with, okay, my family is together and now I have to navigate through family issues, familiar right. issues. How do you see that kind of affecting her life as a mother now? Mm. I think, <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. Um, with the events that we saw over the summer mm -hmm. or even, you know, people who are African-American or of um, black appearing, black appearing people we have to deal with a lot of a lot of things when it comes to the prison system where we have to question each other or remind our children of certain ways to act or you know we are constantly trying to work against a stereotype that is foundational in in the United States in the, in the way of its thinking so i think jasmine as a mother is also starting to realize that oh this isn't just an incident that happened with my father of him just being wrongly convicted this could be a recurring thing this could be something that everyone is facing every day. This could happen to my boyfriend. This could happen to my child when he grows up. This could happen to anyone. I think she's really starting to understand what it means to be an African-American woman growing up in the United States and the fears that might come with it. Right. And now that she's kind of working with her dad on cases, um, do you feel that that kind of changes her perspective on how she viewed her father and how he was tried? I think Jasmine was always down for her dad. Mm -hmm. So I think the cases just connect the knowledge with what she was already seeing growing up, you know, visiting him in, or, or going to see him at a jail, visiting him at a jail and looking at the surroundings of what's going on. I think this just confirms everything for her and it starts to really mature her in a way of, oh, like I said, this isn't just my dad. This is 200,000 plus people across the world or this is this, this is that, you know? Right. Now, looking back either in season one or on the second season, was there a particular scene or a character or person that you really enjoyed working with? I love everyone. <laughs> I know it's corny to say, right. but just the fact that everyone, 
being surrounded by such talented actors, especially those who are more um, older than me, so that I can look up to. Because even Ronnie, Ronnie is who plays my boyfriend. Tony's like 25. So it's like even being around so many people that are older than me, that have so much more wisdom than me, it's, it's amazing to just sit back and listen to the conversations that happen or have conversations with people. Like I know me and Nick have had certain conversations about um, the justice system or you know, even patriarchy and how this system is built across the world or <laughs> so many bomb things I have learned from joy. So many bomb things that I will never let anyone else have because they're mine to keep, you know? Everyone is just very sweet. So what has jazz been given to you as an actress? So much. I think um, I was always raised to be curious and to always question the things that are going on around me, research, not me search. So I think Jasmine has given me a new perspective on what it means to be raised in a way where it's not like you're not given the knowledge all the time and you have to figure it out for yourself. Um, no spoilers, but there is an episode where Jasmine is finding something for the first time or experiencing something for the first time. And for me as Tyla, I've never experienced certain things like having certain things for the first time because it was always taught to me certain things were always ingrained in me so I had to find ways to to accurately portray what it feels like to feel that I think she just opens my mind to other people's perspectives now because this is based on real people um how does that change your preparation as an actress when tackling uh Jasmine I think <laughs> I also reached out to, I have, I have a friend who recently had children, um, who is, <laughs> reminds me of Jasmine a lot and just the fact that she's very light, and bubbly. I have family members who have children and I also have different um, family members and friends who have had to deal with um, family members going into the prison system or into the jail system, being incarcerated. So I think I just had to really sit back and think about what it means to have to go through these things and how it can happen at any time. I could have to go through this tomorrow, you know? And also working in, um, I interned at my district attorney's office in high school. I've always done law classes. I've always been researching law. So I think connecting the knowledge for me and trying to bring it into a very realistic experience has changed my output on just acting in general. And lastly, if you could sum up or describe season two in three words, what would you say? It's going down. <laughs> I like that very much. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you. Thank you. I love your voice. Oh, thank you. I love yours. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.